Let's take a look at finding a matrix inverse on a HP prime graphing calculator. And we'll take a look at this uh, problem right here. So we got A is equal to 182, 5, 1, negative 10, 4, 1, 3. Now I can store these in their own name, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this in M1. So keep that in mind. Come over to my calculator. Um, if you're under your apps here, just go into function. So press enter on function. And then press your home. Okay, I'm going to do shift 4 for the matrix. I'm going to up arrow to M1, and I'll press the edit. And I got 1 enter 8 enter and I'm an up arrow and right arrow to create another column. I put 2 in. Just by pre uh, typing in a new number there it creates a new column. Then 5 enter 1 enter negative 10 enter 4 enter 1 enter 3 enter. Let me double check everything. That looks good. And I want to exit out, so press my home. Now we put that in M1. So to find the inverse, the inverse looks like this. It looks like the negative 1 power. So I'm going to do my um, alpha plus minus for the M. And I'll do 1. Now above your, or below your division, you see in blue it says x to negative 1. So if I do shift divide, you're going to see what looks like a negative 1 power. That's not the negative 1 power, that's the inverse. And then we press enter. Almost always you get decimals. And you notice over in the far right here is a little arrow, meaning there's more to the right. You can press your right arrow key to scroll over to see that. And now you see there's an arrow over here, so you can use your left arrow key to scroll back. That doesn't matter, because we don't want decimals anyway. So we'll push our fraction button. This A to the B over C. And our inverse is going to be negative 13 over 425, uh, 22 over 425, 82 over 425, uh, 11 over 85, uh, 1 over 85, negative 4 over 85, Uh, negative 1 over 425, negative 31 over 425, and 39 over 425. And that would be our answer. That's finding a matrix inverse on a HP Prime graphing calculator.